In this video, I will compare both Wix and Webador and share my personal experience. So I've used both Webador and Wix, and honestly, they serve two very different vibes. If you're trying to choose between them, it really depends on what you need out of your website. And you know, I've gone down this rabbit hole myself trying to figure out which one fits best. Let me be honest. Webador is about as beginner-friendly as it gets. I mean, I had a site up and running in like 30 minutes. No tech headaches, no trying to figure out confusing dashboards. The drag and drop editor is clean and it just works. You get a free custom domain and business email with paid plans, which is nice, especially if you're just starting out and want to keep costs low. For basic websites or even small online stores, Webador feels almost too easy in a good way. But here's where I started hitting walls. You know when you're building something and you think, wait, can I just move this here? And the answer is no. That happened a lot with Webador. The customization is super limited. I tried editing a table once and nearly gave up. There's no plugin system, no app store. So if a feature isn't built in, you're just stuck. And let me be honest, their help files didn't help much. I ended up Googling half the stuff I needed. So then I gave Wix a real shot. And wow, it's like jumping from a scooter to a full-on sports car. It's powerful. You can pretty much drag and drop anything anywhere. Tons of templates, especially for different industries. And if you want to run a store, take bookings, run email campaigns, it's all there. Plus, they've got an actual app marketplace, which I personally love because I like adding features as I grow. That said, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You know how sometimes more features just mean more time figuring stuff out? That's Wix. The mobile editor in particular had me scratching my head, and tweaking mobile layouts took longer than expected. Also, the pricing, yeah, it adds up. The free plan is super limited, like you still have Wix ads on your site. And once you get to the good stuff, you're easily paying $29 a month or more. I was on the core plan, and even then, some features felt locked behind add-ons. Performance-wise, Webador's cleaner and loads faster, probably because it's simpler. Wix sites look amazing, but let me be honest, they can lag a bit, especially on mobile if you go heavy on animations or apps. And, you know, scalability really matters if you're planning to grow. I tried creating a multilingual site with Webador, and the way they handle subdomains for different languages felt clunky and weirdly expensive. Wix handled that so much better. So if you're thinking long-term, especially with e-commerce or global reach, Wix just gives you way more room to grow. To wrap it up, Webador is awesome for small, simple websites when you just want to get online quickly without much fuss. I'd recommend it to anyone who's not super tech savvy and wants something clean and functional. But if you're aiming bigger or just want that flexibility from the start, Wix is totally worth the extra investment. It's like paying a bit more to avoid limitations down the road. So yeah, depends what you're building. Let me know. I've been down this road. I can help you pick the right one for your situation.